Tis my blade! Hi guys, I'm Magic Phoenix, and we are back for Final Fantasy XII Part Eight, and we're now in the palace. Um, in the last video, we were going through the um, sewer system to get into the palace. We found a sneaky way in. Now, very important thing here, in here, do not whatever you do, do not take any treasure chests from here. None of these. You do not pick up any treasure chest. If you want the zodiac spear. Forget the treasure chest. Like I said in the other ones, you get about 10 gil or a potion. Not really important if you ask me. So, as I've said, don't get any of the treasure chests. Uh, <clears throat> one, don't get the one in front of old Dallas' house. Two, pause if you want to read by the way. Do not take them from here. In this room, there are about five, I think, or four treasure chests. None of them you can open if you want the Zodiac Spear. Simple as that. So, uh, the guards think we are staff. <laughs> we are not common staff, I can tell you. And then this guy sort of says, hey, what, what's he want? And he says, alright, you go you go and hide and um, I'll, I'll, um, I'll take take it from here. So we call hello to the guard and now he says, this is your chance. So this dumbass guard walks over thinking, oh, nothing, no one's going to go up these stairs. Not like he can not just see me go behind him, but obviously he's thick. <laughs> One second, guys. I've got to press the mute. Um, what uh, my when I'm recording, uh, sometimes the preview mute plays over the laptop, like um, what it's going to sound like. So it plays exactly what I'm hearing out of surround sound. So it's like double, and it really confuses me. And I hate, I hate it. It's like ghostly. It's weird. So now we're in here. We're looking for a signet. Um, and they look like this. But this isn't the one. I know exactly. I know exactly what one we're going for here. So the first thing we have to do is distract all these guards so we can get to the one we need to get to. So what we're going to do? We're going to use the shout button. Hello. And they walk over. Or well, they should. Yep. Um. The only thing I think was a bit stupid, stupid move made by Square Enix in this bit is that the guards stand in. Over here. I don't know if you. How, how close you have to get for these guys? Hello. Um, the guards stand in watch in front over these bridge type things. Look at their bridges. Look there. This guard here, he doesn't do anything. He just lets you walk past. And I think that's a bit stupid because they are facing the way. They are facing your way, uh, which doesn't make any sense if you ask me. But there you go. And we found the right one. It is the middle one. And you can see in two moves. Just two moves, um, I got the guards out of the way. Uh, when I first did this, I was totally confused, and I was telling the guards, oh, over here, over here, over here, over here. I thought these guards would see me, so I was trying to pull them down. And I'm sort of, whoops, gone wrong way. Um, so I'm trying to get them to move, but they weren't, and I kept going until I found the middle one, which is kind of like the, it's obviously like the easiest one to find, hey, and yet I couldn't see it. Hey, bugged head! Yeah. So the guard's going to be that stupid to just say, huh, where's he gone? Oh, it's not like he's just turned a corner up there. No. So, these guys, the, I love the Arcadians. In fact, I prefer the bad guys in this game. In fact, I love bad guys and everything. I think they're much cooler. But the Arc like Vane and the judges and all that, they're, I prefer them. I'd rather be playing them, to be honest. But they may just look really evil, and yet the soldiers are tricked by an 18-year-old saying hello, and then run around the corner, and they just go, where did he go and fight magic? <sighs> so, uh, they're a bit dumbass-ish. And now, uh, again, pause to read. Sorry, guys, but I can't, I kind of don't really want to um, read this stuff. I just wish they'd done a voiceover for it. I mean, it's only, I mean, when they, you do have to talk, it's only like a few sentences they could have done. And there's a secret switch, which I didn't know about. I just ran into that. Um, even if you didn't know that was there, you'd run into it eventually. So, it's not like it matters. And, whoa, I'm a god. Whoa, secret doorway. Dun, dun, dun. And here we go. And this spawns a cutscene, so I'm going to shut up now, and I'll talk to you after it finishes.
What is he doing? Take that. No, you won't. I found it. It's mine. And then when I take it from you, it'll be mine. <laughs> Exit stage right. The gods do not smile on us. I like it better that way. <clears throat> so, um, we've now met two other characters. We've met Fran and a mysterious man. I wonder who they really are. Hmm, interesting. What are they doing in the castle, hmm? I'm sure we'll find out eventually. But, um, as Vaughn rightly said, it's... My precious! <laughs> Got him! No. Uh, it's just a bit of magic site, which is magic in this game. I think. I think it's a, just a crystal form of magic. I'm not actually sure. And another cutscene, so I'll, I'll talk to you in a minute. Freeze, eh? That's quite an entrance. Impeccable timing. If I didn't know better, I'd say they were waiting all along. Stop running! <laughs> something that belongs to me. Damn! All this way! Fran, let's move! <laughs> Off with you! Holy cow. <clears throat> Bye, Vaughn. No more of you. You've been annoyed. Yeah, let go of him. Keep this up, let go What's going on, Fran? I don't know. It's not heating me. I don't have time for this. Not slipping. Not good. I'm sorry guys, uh, PlayStation 2, just, um, oh, okay, there we go. What happened? A hover didn't just drop, it disappeared. Ah, oh, forget it. Even if we could fly, the Ifrit's playing with fire and I'd rather not get burned. We'll go the old-fashioned way. Yeah, not again. Not many Viera where you come from, thief. It's Vaughn. Sorry. Well, Fran is special in that she deigned to partner with a Hume. Oh? Like a sky pirate that chooses to steal through the sewers. Pirates? You're sky pirates? So you have an airship? It's Balthier. 
Listen, thief, Vaughn, if you ever want to see your home again, you'll do exactly as I say. Myself, Fran, and you, we're working together now, understood? Don't even think you're getting this. The thought never crossed my mind. Neither did it mine. So, <clears throat> finally, we've met another two protagonists, which is Balfour and Frog. And uh, I will be using these guys uh, for, uh, for the rest of the game. And uh, we finally learned something about gambits. Please pause if you want to read. Um, all of this is like rubbish to me. I've read it before. Um, we get another thing where we don't get to control. I hate this rubbish. I wonder what the log button does. Mm, yes, I've never done this before. Come on, Balfour, I already know how to do this, thanks. Why can't you skip this rubbish? I hate this. You can't turn off the tutorial. I don't think you can anyway. I bet you can. Yeah, I don't really... Yeah, I... Ah! I'm just going to pull out my eyes in a minute. I'm just going to pull out my eyes. It's taking too long. Balfour... Begin to see. Piss me off. Anyway, might as well explain what gambits are while we're going through this crap. Gambits. Gambits allow you to set a certain. Um, set the characters to do what you want them to do. And you can buy gambits so that you give them orders, and which they'll. Um, they'll follow them through without you having to even touch a button. In fact, you could go through the entire game just using the joystick. Literally. That's the gambits are. And uh, I really like them. It's a shame they didn't bring them back in Final Fantasy XIII. I thought gambits were really good, to be honest. They make things a lot easier, especially in a boss fight. Insurgents. Most like they thought to take advantage of a lax watch at the palace while the fate's on. To feed the good consul a length of steel for his supper. I should think Vane used to such hospitality. Clever. He used himself as the bait to draw them near, and then sent in the air brigade. A fine, bloody banquet. Hmm. I dare say I've soiled my cuffs. If a dungeon's waiting for us at the end of the night, it had best have a change of wardrobe. Oh, good old Balfour. He's always got the best. I think that Balfour's got the best lines in this game, to be honest. He's a funny guy. So, back in the freaking sewers. Not what I was expecting. And more rats. Charming. So as you can see, Balfour is the one who uses the guns. This gun he's got is absolutely rubbish. And it will not change. It's probably the worst, 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 worst weapon. Um weapon in the game. And as I said, the first bunch of guns aren't very good. Um, uh, the only good ones are the second one, and uh, that one's broken, and the last one. But uh, it's strange guns. Um, oh, uh, I've got that special chest. Uh, this gives us a map to the sewers, I think. Most of these do, anyway. Not like I need it, of course. I hardly ever use the maps. Uh, there's a lot of them in the game, you have to look out for them in the Yensa Sand Sea, which we'll get to eventually. Yeah, you have to find it yourself, a lot of them you will have to find yourself. Anyway, back to guns. Um, guns can, um, guns are quite strange because they can hit really high. It, it's not, um, I mean, it can depend on... Right, hold on. If I turn gambits, I turn this off. That's, that's just typical of me. And I'm kind of oh, strange that... It's because Vaughn's gambits are off. I'll turn them off. Okay, anyway. So, um, it does matter what level the gun is, but it also matters what shot you have. Uh, you can get different, um, not, I was about to say different flavoured bullets. You can get different um, bullets with different um, status effects. Anyway, guys, this is the end of the video. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe, and I'll see you in part nine. Thank you for watching.